Welcome and welcome back grade 10 students. This is teacher Hazel and I will be your math teacher for today. Are you ready for our next lesson? At the end of this video, you will be able to use geometric sequence formula to find the terms of a geometric sequence. Are you ready? But before we start our lesson, let us have some recall about geometric sequence. Again, what is geometric sequence? Geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called a common ratio. So, from our definition, geometric sequence is just multiplying a preceding term by a non-zero constant to get the next number. Now, what is this common ratio? Common ratio, denoted by R, is a constant multiplied to each of the terms of a geometric sequence to obtain the next term of the sequence. Now, today, we will learn how to use geometric sequence formula to find the terms of a geometric sequence. Now, the formula for geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is our nth term, a sub 1 is our first term, n is our term's location, and r stands for the common ratio. Now, let us have some examples. We have example 1. Find the first four terms of the sequence whose first term is 4 and the common ratio is 3. Like in our previous videos, to answer this problem, we need to understand the problem first. In our problem, it asks for the first four terms of the sequence. To illustrate the first four terms of the sequence, we have an illustration like this. Given in our problem is our first term, which is 4. So we can denote it as a sub 1 is equal to 4. And we can put a number 4 on the first term of our illustration. Also, given in our problem is the common ratio, which is 3. So we can denote it as r is equal to 3. Since we want to find the first four terms of the sequence, given our first term is 4, we need to find for the second, the third, and fourth term of the sequence. Since we want to find for the second, third, and fourth term of the sequence, we can safely use n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, and n is equal to 4 in our geometric sequence formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Now, let us find for the second term of our sequence. So, we use or we substitute the values of a sub 1, r, and n is equal to 2. In our formula, we have a sub 2 is equal to 4 times 3 raised to 2 minus 1. Since 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, so we have 4 times 3 raised to 1. And 3 raised to 1 is just equal to 3, so we have 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Thus, the value of a sub 2 is equal to 12. Now, we can now put the value of 12 in our second term. Now, let us find for the third term, which is n is equal to 3. Substituting the values of a sub 1, r, 
nn is equal to 3, we have a sub 3 is equal to 4 times 3 raised to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is just equal to 2, so we have 4 times 3 raised to 2. 3 raised to 2 is just equal to 3 times 3. And we know that 3 times 3 is equal to 9, so we have 4 times 9. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Thus, the value of a sub 3 is equal to 36. So we can now put 36 on the third term of our sequence. Let us proceed with our fourth term. Now we substitute the value of n is equal to 4, a sub 1, and r. In our formula, we have a sub 4 is equal to 4 times 3 raised to 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is just equal to 3. So we have 4 times 3 raised to 3. 3, ti uh, 3 raised to 3, rather, is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 times 3 gives us 27. And 27 times 4 gives us 108. Plus, we have the value of a sub 4 is equal to 108. Now, we can now put the value of a sub 4 or the fourth term, which is 108. Thus, the first four terms of the sequence, whose first term is 4 and the common ratio is 3, is 4, 12, 36, and 108. Now let us have example 2. We have find the common ratio in the sequence 8 with 3 geometric mean and 128. To answer this problem, we must understand the problem first. As mentioned in our previous video and as mentioned in our previous slide. In our problem, it asks for the common ratio given that the first term is 8 and the fifth term is 128. Since our first term is 8, we can denote it as a sub 1 is equal to 8. And since our fifth term is 128, we can denote it as a sub 5 is equal to 128. We know as mentioned in our previous videos that the general form of a sub 5 is a sub n. Since given is our a sub 5, we can have n is equal to 5. Now, we already have the given a sub 1 is equal to 8, a sub 5 is equal to 128, and n is equal to 5. We now find for the common ratio. Substituting the given values to our formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r is to n minus 1 becomes a sub 5 is equal to 8 times r is to 5 minus 1. We know that the value of a sub 5 is equal to 108, so we substitute a sub 5, we have 108 equal to 8 times r is to 5 minus 1. We know that 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, so we have 128 is equal to 8 times r raised to 4. To remove 8, we divide both sides by 8. So we have um, 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1, so we have r raised to 4, and 128 divided by 8 gives us 16. Now, how are we going to find the common ratio that given that our r is raised to 4? To remove the exponential form or the exponent 4 in our r, we have r raised to 4 is equal to 2 raised to 4. We convert 16 
into exponential form. How to con uh, convert 16 to exponential form? It's just we find a number that if we multiply several times, we get 16. And we arrive at 2 raised to 4 because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 16. We multiply 2 4 times. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 gives us 16. That's why we have 2 raised to 4. Now since we have the same exponents, we now have r is equal to 2. Thus, the common ratio in the sequence is 2. Now let us have example 3. Give the common ratio and write the next term of this geometric sequence 3, 12, 48, and so on. Now, to get the common ratio and the next term of the sequence, we illustrate the problem. We have 3, 12, 48, and an unknown number here, or the next term of the sequence. Now, by definition of common ratio, common ratio is just a constant multiplied to each of the terms of a geometric sequence to get the next term. Now, if we want to get the common ratio of the sequence, we divide any term by its preceding term. We have this one. 12 divided by 3. Now, if we have 12 divided by 3, we know that 12 divided by 3 is just equal to 4. Now, let us divide 48 by 12. We have 48 divided by 12. And 48 divided by 12 gives us 4. Thus, the ratio between any term by its preceding term is just 4. Hence, the common ratio is 4. So, we now have the common ratio. Now, let us find for the next term of the geometric sequence. To find the next term of the geometric sequence, we multiply the common ratio by 48. So, we have 48 times 4 and 48 times 4 gives us 192. Thus, we have the common ratio which is 4 and the next term of the geometric sequence 3, 12, 48 is 192. Now, do you have any questions? I would love to read your questions on the comment section below. Did you learn something? What have you learned? I would love to read what you have learned on the comment section below. That's it! I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching and I will see you on our next lesson.